Welcome back to another two card discussion. Today we're we're talking about some some decent cards. I'm actually okay with well at least one of these cards. The other one I don't know. Maybe maybe there's a spot I just don't know about yet. But anyway, uh, one of these cards I really like a lot. It has a lot of potential for a lot of different things. A lot of people use it in a Doctor Strange deck that is kind of broken. Um, if you know what you're doing. But anyway, before we get into these cards, make sure you go down, hit the like button, hit subscribe, turn on notifications, all this stuff helps out a lot. Let's go check out some cards. Now, really quick, we have now moved on to the Quicksilver Hero Pack. So these cards are both from Quicksilver. We finished up Wasp yesterday. Uh, and the first one is a very famous protection ally, in my opinion, which is Multiple Man. He's a four cost protection ally, one, one, two stat line. Sounds terrible, right? Well, response after Multiple Man enters play, search your copy and hand for a copy of Multiple Man and put it into play. Shuffle your deck if it was searched this way. So pretty interesting because it comes with three copies of multiple man, right? You could put three out there and fill up the spaces. Now, the way people kind of broke the game, not broke the game, but they kind of made Strange really powerful is that he has his cards that give three tough statuses out there, right? His invocation deck card. And you just put them on all the multiple men and just have them block for you, right? That's like the secret behind the game. Uh, so you basically get like six rounds of blocking and not having to worry, right? Because each one can block the tough off and then each one can like chump block for you. So that's what a lot of people did. Um, it's, it's, it's a very, very uh, strong way to play if you can get toughs on. If there's other ways to put toughs on, you know, X-Factor cards or whatever, like, that's how you would do this. So it's a good card in that regard. And if you're trying to quickly just get allies out there for chump blocking, it's actually not bad for that either in protection, right? If you get this card early on, it's actually kind of nice to just be like, okay, I waste a hand, yeah, but as especially for true solo, I have three blocks I don't have to worry about, which is nice. The one thing that stinks is you can't get it from your discard pile, which not that not that it's a bad thing, but it feels like after you use it once, right? And let's say you shuffle your deck and get back around. Like it, it usually doesn't always work out to try to get it going again. Um, sometimes it does, but not always. I always feel like it's weird the second time I try to play it around. Like it doesn't quite work out the way I want. So that's the only thing that stinks. Or if you have multiple man gets trapped as a face down card for some reason or discard from the top of your deck for some reason. Like there, there's things that can happen. So that part kind of stinks. Uh, but other than that, like I think there's use for him like i think he's good for what he is uh, i don't run him all the time because it gets kind of expensive with four costs to basically get three blocks uh there's a lot more overkill in the game now which obviously him getting hit for you know with overkill is not great uh because he only has two life so you know there's limitations on things but still there there there's a good argument to be made for multiple man that he is not he's not terrible right he, he's he's fine for what he is now, also in Quicksilver came this other ally, Warlock. It's a three cost protection ally, a 1 1 3 stat line, uh, which is not a great stat line, but action after you spend a mental resource, heal up to two damage from Warlock, which is interesting, right? I think as a, a maybe as a multiplayer ally, this is better. Where if you could pump up his stats, it's more useful. The problem is. To heal him up doesn't always seem 100% worth it, right? Because you're just doing like one damage or one thwart over and over. And protection itself doesn't have a lot of upgrades that attach to an ally, right? They attach to you, but they don't really attach to allies. Now, there's ways to get a leadership or, or aggression or whatever um, upgrades or supports or whatever that would affect Warlock. Then it seems a little more worth it to me, but for true solo, it, does, it really just doesn't. Um, and then you have to kind of build around Warlock, which is... It's not like a bad idea. It's just kind of like a weird idea. I, I don't know. Like I've never, I've never seen anyone go, I'm going to build around Warlock and this is going to go really great. Right? Like I just, I've never seen or heard that. Uh, it's not to say that it doesn't exist. I just, let me know. Right? Let me know if you built around Warlock and made it really great or something. But to heal him up, like again, yeah, okay. Each round you can thwart one or deal one damage. Like I, I can kind of see it, but it's still... With one resource cost, I, there's so many other things I'd just rather do than do that. All right, hopefully you all are having a great Thursday. Uh, I'm excited to get into a new hero pack. I think there's some good cards later on in the Quicksilver deck that I'm pretty excited for. Maybe we'll hit some of them tomorrow. I don't know. But like I said, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, all that stuff. Um, scroll down, check out all the links. I'd appreciate especially Discord and, and Medium if you want to get into the blog post. We've been blogging a lot, which has been really, really fun. And um, let me know in the comments. 
Warlock. I'm really interested. Maybe multiple man too. If you have like a, a new different way to use multiple man, then like I haven't really seen. 